Yo, 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 what's up guys, Between Noise here once again. This time I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to install Fallout Script Extender and fix some of the very common errors that come up with it that I found on Windows 8 in general. So, first thing you're going to have to do is go to Fallout Script Extender Silverlock.org, download that, get it all unzipped into your downloads, and then you're going to take all these files, move it into your Fallout folder, which you will find in your program files x86 if you're running on Windows 8 it might be under something else but in any case you'll go into there Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Fallout 3 which I have the Game of the Year edition which I don't know if that will make much of a difference if you just have the regular Fallout 3 I believe you need the entire DLC in any case just to download that and you'll take all those files over from this and you will drag and drop them all into here except for the source file if you don't want to, it doesn't really make a difference on that because that's just for modders and stuff like that. In case after you get that done, you will need to go to the website let's see Windows Live and you're gonna want to download the Windows Live um game, whatever, game for Windows Marketplace client or whatever the hell you want to call it. In any case, and once you get that downloaded, installed and everything, you will go back into your program files and this is the route I took. I don't know if you'll have to go through all of these, but this is what I did just to me. So I'm just going to go through the entire list of things I had to go through just to make sure that, that um, I'm doing this perfectly right. You may not have to do this, but I just do it anyway. And you're going to go in there, and you're going to go to Program Files, Microsoft, Windows, Games for Windows Lives, Client, and you're going to want to go in, and there'll be something by the name of xlive-something.dll. All you're going to do is rename that to xlive.dll, you're going to take that, drop it into your Fallout 3 folder as well, and then once you have that done, it's still going to be giving you an error message if it's anything like I had to deal with. So when you're trying to start the Fallout script extender through the launcher, it's just going to keep continually say, oh, this doesn't work, this doesn't work, this file, blah, 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 all this bullshit. So once you get done with that, you're going to go to, let's see, nexusmods.com slash Fallout 3 slash mods 10. 1086 dash question mark or whatever and I'll have these all posted in the description so you can follow the link you're going to go in there go to files you're going to have to create an account on this website which if you don't already have an account which I'd assume you would because you're trying to mod it and Nexus Mods is one of the better sites to get it from um, you're going to want to get games for Windows Live disable once you get that you're going to want to go into your download folder as always um, unzip game for Windows Live disabler. The two files that will pop out will be this and the readme file. The readme file you can just ignore if you want. You're going to double click on that, run it, and you're going to hit disable G4WL, which will put a fake xlive.dll file in your Fallout 3 folder for you. And I'm not quite sure why, but it makes it work. I've tried 50 different ideas, I've tried replacing my fallout.ini file, I've tried just doing about just everything you could possibly think of to get that my Fallout 3 for, uh, my Fallout 3 game to work with the Fallout script extender, and this is the only way I've personally found that it will work. There's another, a few other things that you might want to look up, which is like, if I remember correctly, there's an Intel HD bypass, depending what type of graphics card you're running, it might affect it as well. But if you're just running with the same issue I was, then all you're going to need are those three steps. Um, if it doesn't work, my best bet is I wouldn't really know how to tell you because there's about 50 billion different issues that it could be. But just keep trying different ideas if you really want to get it to work. Um, other than that, I think that's all for now, guys. I will talk to you later. Bye. Yo, yo, what's up guys, it's BT Noise here, don't forget to like, like, subscribe, and comment below, and go check out my channel, thanks for watching.